Israel HVAC is sponsored by Yellow Jacket, one of the most reliable names in all of HVAC tools, including the new Titan Digital Manifold, the new Omni Digital Vacuum Gauge, the reliable Bullet Two Stage 7 CFM Vacuum Pump, and the new YJ. LTE recovery machine. For more information, visit yellowjacket.com. All right, guys, I'm just here on my old unit. I want to do a review on the on the Yellow Jacket P51-860 Titan digital manifold. A uh, very impressive manifold. We have our superheat right there, uh, running 25 degrees superheat. Ooh, hi. We're going to get a target here in just a minute. Uh, I might need to add a little gas in this unit. And if you hit this button right here, it gives you your choices. So we're going to go to this one right here. That's your line temperatures. T1 is 69. T2 is 114. Excuse me. You hit that again. You go to your saturation temperatures. Coils 43, condensers one, uh, 124. Hit it again, go back to superheat and subcooling. And then if you go to settings, you can change your refrigerants. There's your refrigerants and all that. Hit the back button here. We're back on the screen. Yeah, we're gonna put a little gas in here. We're gonna get us a, a target superheat. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be low on gas. Nice manifold though, really well built. All right guys, my furnace and coil is located here in a closet. It's a Linux gas furnace. Linux evaporator. The coil's made for either refrigerant. They did the furnace in the coil but left the condenser. Running a wet bulb of about 62. So we'll go back outside and calculate that. All right, it's about 88 degrees out here. So we'll go with that. We're still running a high superheat. We're going to calculate that on the Emerson Check and Charge app, and we'll take a screenshot of that, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. All right, as you saw, uh, well, you can't see it, but it does have a backlight. There you go. You just got to hit the power button again, and you do have a backlit display. The app said we were running at 27, and we're right at that mark, and the target is 5. I'm going to bring it to about 10. I've got the liquid gold set up here. I'm going to open this one up because this is a four valve manifold. Even though I'm not really a fan of the four valve manifold, I think it's the only way this one comes. But it's not that big of a deal. We're going to bleed this one. Okay. And we're going to add some gas. Let's turn it back. Superheat's dropping. This is a really nice manifold. You know, Yellow Jacket, I don't know if they've ever made a product that I've been disappointed with. I'd, uh, I'd really like to get my hands on the, the one up from this with the big digital display. I think it's even touch screen. I'm gonna have to talk to to my yellow jacket uh, person about that. I'd, I'd really like to get my hands on that other set. All right, we're gonna go a little bit more. The knobs are fantastic on here. I mean, they got grips, they're, they're fantastic. 
And you know, guys, when you're adding gas, you don't have to crank this thing all the way open. I mean, and there is a sight glass. You don't have to crank it all the way open. I mean, you just crack it, you'll be fine. But one of the things I do like about this is this sight glass is very easy to see through. One of my biggest complaints of the S-Man, the sight glass is really dark and it's hard to see the refrigerant flowing through the sight glass. Our superheat is dropping. We probably got it right there with just those couple squirts of gas. And our suction line's down to 57 already. Evaporators come up to 45. Yeah, we're already at six degrees of superheat. The target's five. So we dropped the superheat down in range. But you know, this really isn't a how to charge a system uh, video. This was just, I, I knew there was, I knew my system was a little low on charge. I could tell today because it's it's been struggling the past couple days. And uh, I figured since I knew I was gonna have to put gas in it today that what better time to do a review on these, on this manifold. I should have done it a long time ago. Yellow Jacket sent me this a long time ago. They recently sent me a leak detector as well that I'm gonna do a review on the new AccuPro. But we're right at five degrees of superheat, going up to six. That's what it's calling for though. And again, you just keep hitting your buttons here. There's our T1 and T2. There's our saturation temperatures. And back to superheat and subcooling. And if you hit the power button, you get a backlit display. Hit the power button again, goes away. It's a good manifold right here. I like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang this in my truck. This is gonna be my go-to digital. I'm gonna put the S Man's away. This is definitely gonna be my go-to right here. And uh, storage for the clamps is on the back. You hook them right here. Very nice manifold. Big shout out to Yellow Jacket for sending it to me. I really appreciate it. It's a great product. It's the first time I'm using it. I'm, I hate that this is the first time, but you know, I guess it is what it is, but very sturdy. Um, I love the knobs. Very, very nice manifold. If you're in the market for a digital manifold, I recommend this one because I, uh, God, I wish I would have tried it a long time ago. It'd be in the truck by now, but it's going, it's going in the truck today. This is going to be my go-to digital. All right, so we're going to give the S-Mans a break. And the Yellow Jackets are going to take over along with the Yellow Jacket analogs. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you're in the market for a digital manifold, don't overlook this one. We'll see y'all on the next one.